I started my career at SKF more than 25 years ago as a machine operator in one of the factories here in Gothenburg. And that experience still drives me in my daily work. I can still recall the feeling of frustration and stress when things were not running smoothly in operation and all the pain and all the stress that that brings on the workforce. So there is one thing to solve problems, but it's another thing to do that while uh, driving operations. And machine downtime leads to additional work and in the worst case, a risk of injuries of people. The big change comes when we move away from these reactive behaviours and move into a preventive, predictive or even on-demand behaviour. When we start focusing on what really matters, trouble-free operation, then we can achieve much higher performance. So the next step would be to combine different technologies into solution and then giving operators and managers the possibilities to be proactive. This will mean a lot to lubrication. Through digitalization, lubrication will become an even more integrated part of condition monitoring and maintenance. New technologies can be used to create a smarter environment for the user. To save time, money and effort and avoid machine breakdown, even firefighting, in the end, digital tools will help utilize resources more efficiently. In the case of lubrication management, lubricant is a very valuable resource. If we can use technology to use resources more efficiently, then we have a lot to gain. When we say lubrication management, we mean a structured approach to lubrication utilizing resources more efficiently and avoid waste and inefficiencies in the processes. And also risk of injuries. So technology really leads to a new way of thinking to increase performance in a much more holistic way. Quite a few actually. SKF has already today launched a number of products, services and solutions which allows for our customers to integrate lubrication management into their condition monitoring and maintenance landscape. That's a big step. Intelligent lubrication means that we are combining processes that used to be separated. Take uh, lubrication and condition monitoring, for example. If you connect the two, you can have the possibility to share data and by that also apply machine learning and eventually AI to gain knowledge and insight that was not possible before. And for that we have already an existing solution which is called Condition Assisted Lubrication which combines condition monitoring and lubrication into one. This is really making maintenance easier to allow the technician to determine the course of action, to become proactive and to have the technology help us get there. Depending on the case, this could mean smart intervention, like starting additional lubrication cycles automatically, keeping optimum lubrication level. Or it can be something like uh, acting on anomalies, giving the lubrication technician the possibilities to plan ahead and follow a clear plan of action to save time and energy. And this addresses the problem that more than 50% of bearing failures are due to poor lubrication. So all in all, a much more reliable process. We will for sure see technology expand into new areas. Take condition monitoring as an example. But with more accurate data, we can connect lubrication into other sensor technologies. And we can go deeper into lubrication, tackling particles and seeing their role. Traceability and data visibility will be key terms. On one hand, improved data precision will not only improve lubrication management, it will also give decision makers a clear foundation for planning, maintenance, production and interventions. On the other hand, more precise data 
will lead to a holistic view on lubrication management as an essential component of maintenance planning. We can never avoid failures in system being exposed to friction, but what we can do with combined data insight is that we can safeguard effectiveness, reliability and also improve asset health and sustainability. It's about using technology to use resources responsibly and this is the next step in machine care.